Well, here we are near the end of another end time hour and also friends near the end of another year. Can you believe it? And soon we'll embark on 2016. And I wonder what is in store for next year. Well, for certain friends, Emmanuel, God is with us no matter what. So friends, today we've been focusing on the birth of Christ, haven't we? But I really feel the Lord wants us in these final moments to focus on our own births. Because friends, you know, no matter what the circumstances surrounding our births, God planned it long ago. In fact, friends, isn't it a wonder to realize that even before there was anything, he chose you to be holy and blameless. Yes, friends, the Apostle Paul tells us that in Ephesians 1.4. It says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and and blameless in his sight. Or in another translation it says, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Now, I don't know about you friends, but that blows my mind just to consider that somehow God knew me before everything for thousands of years, for all eternity. God knew about me, friend, and he knows about you. Yes, friend, your life has been mapped out in the heavenlies. God knows you intimately. He knew when you would be born and he knows when you will leave this earthly body for your celestial home. Job 14, five tells us as it reads, you have decided the length of our lives. You know how many months we will live and we are not given a minute longer. I don't know about you, but that puts me into a place of solid confidence in the Lord. Even my death has been recorded by my heavenly Father. No matter how or when, God will be with us, friends, when we go. So friends, I want us now to consider God's intimate knowledge of us. Let's read and think about Psalm 139. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Everything, friend. He knows everything about you. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts, even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. Friend, he knows everything about you. And even when you're far away, even when we are far away from him and our minds are focused upon something else, he is still there with us. It goes on, you know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. It's true, isn't it, friends? How on earth are we able to understand the wonderful mystery that God knows us so intimately? It goes on, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness I cannot hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Oh, friends, God has all authority over the darkness on this earth. Hallelujah. Then it goes on. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. Now listen to this, friends. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out 
before a single day had passed. Friends, isn't that absolutely incredible? Every single moment of your life has been mapped out by the Lord. It was recorded in his book, even before it ever happened. Then it goes on, how precious are your thoughts about me, O God? They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Now friends, it's really important that we realize that we have been predestined, that we have been chosen to partake of his wonderful blessings. But not only that friends, that we have been chosen by the Lord in this time. We have been chosen friends, just like when Jesus came to the earth and John the Baptist came to the earth to prepare the way for the Messiah, we have also been chosen. Friends, it wasn't some mistake that we were born when we were born. We were born friends because God had a purpose and a destiny for us, not only for us to love him and for him to love us, but also friends, he has a destiny for us to fulfill on the earth in these last days. And friends, we don't wanna miss that, do we? And friends, I'm praying that as we near the end of 2015 and begin 2016, that we would have a glorious revelation of how important our lives are on this earth and how important it is, friends, that we don't waste a single moment. Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, I'm praying today by the power of your Holy Spirit that you would come upon us, that you would come upon us, Lord, right now, wherever we are, in the car, sitting on the sofa, sitting at the dining room table, working away in the kitchen or in the office, wherever we are, I'm praying, Lord Jesus, that you would give us a divine revelation of our own significance. That, Lord, that you have raised us up in this time to do the works of the kingdom while it's still day. And Holy Spirit, I'm praying now that you would open our hearts. Open our hearts, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would enable us, empower us, Lord, to understand that glorious revelation in that psalm we just read. That, Lord, you know all about us. You know everything about us, Lord Jesus, and that is so wonderful to behold. That is such a precious thing, Lord Jesus, that you knit us together in our mother's womb, that you predestined us to partake in your glory, Lord, and that you knew every single moment of our day, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, Lord Jesus, and I thank you that you will be with us wherever we go. You are with us now and forevermore. And so, Father, I'm praying right now that you would enable us to have an understanding of that. And I'm, I'm praying, friend, that you would open your heart up during this Christmas time. Maybe you've got some time off work where you can contemplate these things. Maybe go back and read that psalm and have a think about it and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal that wonderful truth to you. Because, friends, it can't just stay in our heads we can read the Bible, we can read those verses, but it needs to enter into the realm of the heart so that it really takes root and we begin to actually live in it. And so friends, now we've come to the end of another end time hour. And as I said, almost near the end of another year. And I'm wishing you friend, a glorious and blessed 2016. God bless you friends. God bless you. The stars are brightly shining